Welcome everybody, today we're in Terra Hill, a 270-unit freehold development in Pasir Panjang. Let's go check it out. So the location of Terra Hill is right in front of Kent Ridge Park and Hot Park. And this will be the site where most of the transformation from the Greater Sunna Waterfront is going to happen. So there will be a lot of spillover effects and this whole area is going to transform into the next like hub of Singapore. So you've been right at the forefront of the development. So entering the development from Yu Siang Road, this is where your arrival plaza and truck is going to be. So it'll be a grand water courtyard right in front of the arrival lobby and lots of picnic pasture and pavilion all around. Amenities for Tara Hill are spread right across the whole development. So on one side at Stack 22nd, you actually have your jacuzzi and your aqua gym and your hot tub as well. Some basketball hoops to actually do your basketball games. Stack 20 A and B is where you find your 50 meter lap pool with palm trees planted right in front of the swimming pool. Just climbing up further up into the back of the development is where you actually get your many other pools like the lounge pool and some sitting terrace for you to just do your yoga and we also have an outdoor fitness center right behind and then right behind stack 22b actually is your play co for your kids and also a tea pavilion So for Terra Hill, the smallest unit we have so far starts from two bedders at 678 square foot, going for about $1.85 million and above. So for the five bedders, which are the largest units available in Terra Hill, the largest unit actually is about 3035 square foot and the price tag is about 5.5 and above. I'm going to check out a 4 bedder 1894 square foot unit in Terra Hill. Where I just came from is the private lift and this is the private lift lobby. You can see the finishing done on the walls here in brown but it's an ID treatment so you can actually like, copy what they do here. The flooring wise it's marble all the way into the house and here we're going to enter the living room. As you can see here there's a huge floor plate over here in this living space with easily an 8 seater couch with plenty of room still to walk around and then right over there outside is the balcony area which kind of extends the whole living space outwards. You can actually have another kind of a tabletop set for you to have your tea party over there. Right behind me is the dining set and your dining space as well. You can easily fit another eight seater kind of round table over here with Lazy Susan in the middle. And then behind we have actually the dry kitchen and this is the engineered stone. It's done in a very nice finish as well, similar to this side of the dry kitchen. So you have two places for you to kind of prepare your breakfast. And then over here, we have a sink as well and plenty of cabinetry for you to put your glasses and your glassware. So over here, the cabinetry for the dry kitchen is done for you as well in a very nice silver kind of finish. And then we have wine chiller over there and also an oven here by Vizu. And then moving further inside, we have the complete wet kitchen, matchy matchy kind of flooring plus the refrigerator and the cabinets as well all in a grey kind of finishing. For this one we have a Samsung fridge and for the gas stove as well we have Vizuk again and then this one comes with five different sizes of hops and then coming along here we come to the kind of the yard area and provided a washer and dryer both by Samsung and on my right is the yard WC and on my left is the bomb shelter slash storage room but it can obviously convert it into anything you want could be another wardrobe like this guy did it here <laughs> along here on my left actually is the powder room that your guests that you invite for your housewarming parties and whatnot is going to use and the cool thing about the four bedders here in Terra Hill is that the bedrooms are all ensuite so actually they're going to be shared by anybody else but the person living in that room so we're going to check out first on my right the junior master so this junior master is like the master bedroom in some other developments on my right actually is the full walk-in wardrobe treatment over here that you can put like plenty of your clothes female clothing here so far and on my left actually is the junior master bathroom so just take a look right in front of me is the junior master bed 
There's a queen size bed over here with still plenty of space on the left and right for your side table and in front as well for your study table if you wanted to. So coming out of Junior Master on my right actually is the master bedroom but we'll check that out later. Right behind me is bedroom 2 and 3 connected by a Jack and Jill bath. Let's go see. For this bedroom, they actually converted into a study room and two wardrobes over here. So over here on my left actually is the Jack and Jill bath. So this is the first entrance to this bathroom. A nice bathroom size with a nice sink in the middle and two sides for you to put this room stuff and that room stuff over there. Cabinetry behind this mirror glass as well. And then coming to here in the third bedroom, this is where you can see if you put a queen size bed here, this is how it's gonna look. And then also with two wardrobes over here. in the master bedroom on my right is the walking wardrobe look at that so many space for you to again show your clothes right over here we enter the master bathroom a tub over here a standing shower over here separated by these two walls here and then oh here's in her sink over here so over here we're in a sleeping area of the master bedroom i think they put a queen size bed over here but of course if you put a, a king size bed you can still have plenty of space on the sides to move around window panels from the floor to the ceiling so plenty of natural light is going to come into your room and over there you can actually put your tv or, or a painting and um, just, it's a very simple but um, functional master bedroom. So for transport and connectivity, we have Pasi Panjang MRT, of course. We also have one North MRT nearby and Harbourfront MRT if you want to go for your shopping at Vivo City and also near Sentosa as well for you to go to the beach. We're also right near to Kenridge Park and for food we have Pasi Panjang Food Centre and of course of the whole of Sentosa with your Universal Studios and whatnot. So let's just take a look at the aerial view of Terra Hill and what's around this area. Thank you everybody for checking out Terra here with me today. Again, this is a freehold development in District 5. If you like what you see here, give me a call. Happy to show you around. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.